too soon? <laughs> Never. So I'll come and cry up so high Reaching for a bite, yeah, yeah Because forbidden fruit is the sweetest kind It's 2018. I really just have to be proud of who I am. I'm basic. I didn't choose the Spice Life. The Spice Life chose me. And I'm gonna wear my chunky sweaters. And I'm gonna live in leggings. And I'm gonna wear faux Ugg boots because I'm vegan and I don't wanna hurt animals. It's more than just hashtag fall vibes. It's not just about chunky sweaters, you know? It's a lifestyle. It's totally spiced up my relationship. And that time of the month is now a delight. I even joined a band. <laughs> this fall, embrace your basic. I'm here to help with an amazing vegan pumpkin spice latte recipe. it's Eden and the only thing that I love more than a cozy oversized sweater and leggings is a pumpkin spice latte with whipped cream but unfortunately Starbucks still hasn't gotten with the program and they are not vegan in the US yet but don't worry I have your back this is not a healthy syrup this is a pumpkin spice syrup, and it is so freaking good. It'll last you about a week and a half to two weeks, depending how often you use it, how much you use, all of that good stuff. This is delicious. <laughs> mm. I'll show you how I made this latte, but let's jump into how I made the syrup first. Get this. It's microwavable. Two seconds. I have to address something really quick. In my Frappuccino video, a lot of people were really surprised that I made a date caramel instead of a caramel out of like sugar. I just want to get something really straight with you guys. I hate candy thermometers. I hate them. The art of making caramels, caramel, nougats, any kind of candy that requires a thermometer is just not me. I'm more of a blend it, microwave it kind of girl, and that's what this syrup is. Super fast, super simple. You probably have most of the ingredients already in your kitchen. You might have to pick up a can of pumpkin or roast a pumpkin or whatever you wanna do, but let's jump into that part of this recipe. So we're gonna start with one cup of hot water, and I'm just gonna add in one cup of sugar. This is bone char free sugar, and it's kind of a natural sugar, so it does have a bit of a tint to it. In this container, I have some pumpkin pie spice. It's a half of a teaspoon, and that's gonna have some cinnamon, ginger, clove, nutmeg, allspice, all of those really fall fragrant kinds of spices. And then I have just one eighth of a teaspoon of dried ginger, and that's gonna go right into our cup as well. In this room, can we have two tablespoons of pumpkin puree? Not pumpkin pie filling, just plain 100% pure pumpkin puree. And down in the bottom, you can probably see it, that's half a teaspoon of pure vanilla. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into here as well. Lastly, we're gonna add a tablespoon of grade A maple syrup. I just love the flavor that maple adds to a pumpkin spice syrup. You can skip this if you want to. Then we're gonna give this a nice stir. Start to dissolve the sugar a little bit. Then we're gonna pop this into the microwave. You just wanna let it go for about two to three minutes until you see it start to bubble up. You can see mine bubble to about here. Once it starts to bubble up to the top, it's done. You can take it out and let it cool. Woo, mine really needs to cool. As a former Starbucks basic barista, I know how to make a latte. And 
most people do but i thought i would just show you really quickly how to make a flavored latte if you don't already know it's really easy it's just a syrup steam milk and espresso so simple so so simple but i thought i'd show you i'm gonna start off by frothing up some milk this is just some homemade almond milk and i have a frappuccino video that shows how to make homemade almond milk if you're interested in that but just run this along the sides aerating it a little bit and then you'll get nice foamy bubbles this frother is from four sigmatic it's one of the best handheld frothers i've ever had and i've had a lot so this is what the milk looks like inside nice dense foam i'm going to add two shots of espresso to the bottom of my cup then i'm going to add about three tablespoons of our delicious pumpkin spice syrup you can change this depending on your taste. I'm just kind of going off of Starbucks measurements. So three pumps is about how many would be in a tall latte. And this is just a few ounces bigger than a tall. So you could really do like three and a half or four. I'll do four. And then just pop the lid onto our syrup. And this can go into the fridge for the next week. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in our almond milk and the foam will go in last. So this is a beautiful foamy latte. Look at that gorgeous latte foam. If you wanna take it a step further, I have some almond milk whipped cream that I picked up in Whole Foods. Just add a sprinkle of that pumpkin pie spice to the very top. and you have a beautiful pumpkin spice latte vegan style. One of the best blessings in fall are that Trader Joe's pumpkin cinnamon rolls are accidentally vegan. They're so freaking good and there's no better match than this delicious cinnamon roll. Mm. fall is upon us people i mean it was really hard for me to let go of bikini season but legging season is just is magnificent oh my gosh this syrup is really really good you can add as much or as little pumpkin as you want. Two to three tablespoons is the magic number for me. I make this syrup year after year. Last year I tried adding um, sweetened condensed coconut milk to make it more of that creamy syrup like Starbucks. I didn't really dig that and just know the more pumpkin you add, the more pulpy your latte will be because um, the pumpkin puree is like just 100% pumpkin puree. So unless you're gonna run it through a really fine sieve, to get out that pulp, which will take away some of the flavor. I recommend staying with the two to three tablespoon range. Um, if you want a little bit deeper flavor, you could use brown sugar. It's all up to you. This is just a base recipe. Do what you want with your latte. This cinnamon roll is delicious. I just felt like I couldn't have a latte video without some kind of treat. <laughs> I'm not going to mention that it's 4 o'clock and I'm having a full calf latte. <laughs> mm. The cinnamon, the best part. Cheers to fall. I want to thank you guys so, so much for watching and making all of my basic dreams come true. Please please, please tweet me, send me Instagram pictures. If you guys make this syrup, show me your latte skills. Whoa. <laughs> and I wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching. Until next time, remember to keep an open mind, keep an open heart, practice unconditional compassion. But.
don't take shit from anyone. I love you guys endlessly, and I hope you love yourselves even more. I'll talk to you really, really soon. Bye. She looks hot.